Hi, my name is Daniel. Today I'll show you how to migrate into OCI using zero downtime migration. In my video, I have already installed a setdm service host. Also, I have created an object storage bucket. And I've made the necessary preparations to the source and target environments. You can visit my blog for further details. There's a link in the end of the video. First, I'll show you where you can find a template response file. It has elaborate description of all the options. You can use it to create your own response file. This is the response file I'll use for the migration. Migration method is set to DGOSS, which specifies a data guard to OCI. I have to specify the target DB unique name. And since I'm using ASM, I can just specify the disk groups. For this type of migration, I'll just leave backup path empty. Getting the host parameter correctly might be a little tricky, but visit my blog for further explanation. Note, the latter part of the URL is the object storage namespace. Let me quickly show you how you can find that. On the OCI webpage, click on your profile and then your tenancy. You'll find the object storage namespace in the bottom. Now back in my response file, I specify the name of an object storage bucket. It holds the backup of the database that is used later on for the initial restore of the target database. And finally, I choose not to configure fallback and just shut down the source database after the switchover. I can now use setdm CLI to start the migration. First, I'll use the eval option to perform a sanity check of my settings. Nothing is changed during the evaluation. For typical migrations, the src auth and ggt auth should be set to setdm auth. The backup user should be set to the username of my OCI account. The rest of the options are self-explanatory, I think. Otherwise, you should have a look in the documentation. But now let's give it a try. First, I enter the sys password. When prompted for the OCI password, be aware that since I'm targeting an object storage bucket, I must specify an auth token, not my password. My migration evaluation is now created. I can use the ID to monitor it. After a while, the evaluation is done. All steps are marked as completed, meaning the evaluation passed. I can now safely proceed with the migration, and I'll do that in two steps. First, I'll build a standby database and just let it sit there while I wait for the switchover to take place. Second, I'll complete the migration and perform the switchover between the source and the target database. If you have a properly configured application, there won't be any downtime at all, just a small brownout while the switchover takes place. If you don't have such an application, you have to shut it down, perform the switchover, and then restart the application. In any case, such a switchover should be doable within a few minutes. But now let's get on with it. I'm reusing the set the MCLI command from the evaluation, but I've removed the eval option. Instead, I've added a pause after option and configure it to stop the migration right after the standby has been built in OCI. Enter the password and auth token, get a coffee, and wait. You can use the set the MCLI query command to monitor the progress. Eventually, when the standby has been built, the migration will pause right before the switchover. I'll verify the data guard setup by querying the primary and standby database. The upper window is my on-premises database, the source environment. The lower window is my OCI database, the target environment. As you can see, the primary database is Oakmon SRC host, my source environment. And I have a physical standby on my target environment. and the changes are getting applied on the standby. Before completing the migration, let me mention something really cool. When the standby database has been built in OCI, you can convert it into a snapshot standby and use it for testing. In other words, 
you can perform testing on your production data on your future production system. When you're done testing, you can convert the database back into a physical standby and complete the migration. I believe this is a really useful feature. But for now, I'm just going to complete the migration. To move on, I'm using the resume command. It'll pick up from where it left. Since we stopped right before the switchover, this is where it will start. After a few minutes, the switchover has completed and the migration is done. Welcome to OCI. But let's just verify that. I'm logged on to the OCI database. And as you can see, it's now the primary database and open in read-write mode. Thanks for watching and happy migrating. Thank you.